name's Adam from Roots to Fruit, uh, and I'm going to show you now a really simple way that you can uh, quite accurately estimate the age of a tree that you might have in your school or in your garden or a tree that you've seen out and about in the park near where you live. Um, ordinarily, if we wanted to tell the age of a tree, we would have to look at uh, a log slice or uh, at a felled tree, a tree that had died, and we would um, tell how old it was by counting the growth rings that uh, appear there, by counting backwards from the outside edge and working our way into the middle, counting those rings, we can estimate how old the tree was when it died or when it was felled, because a tree will put on one of those rings every year of its growth. But what if I want to tell how old a tree is without cutting it down or without uh, harming it in any way? We've come out to one of the oaks that we have on our nursery here. Uh, a mighty oak looking beautiful in the uh, early spring sunshine this afternoon. And by using some simple numeracy, we can actually work out how old this tree is uh, to quite a close uh, estimate. Now, there is one downside to this, and that is that this method has been worked out and put together by the American Arboreal uh, Association, and they, of course, um, haven't moved across to the metric system. So everything that we're gonna do with this numeracy, with this mass, is um, in feet and in inches but it still works uh, pretty well nonetheless. So the first thing we have to do is to work out the diameter of that tree trunk. Now, if I was to run my tape measure across it like that, or use a stick in some way, I'm not gonna get a very accurate reading of what the diameter is. A better way of doing it is by finding the circumference. So we take our tape measure, and I would recommend with a tape measure like this one, that you have the numbers facing in towards the tree, otherwise you're gonna damage it. And this gives you a good excuse to give the tree a hug, or you might wanna have somebody give you a hand doing this. And at about chest height, now I'm six foot three, so my chest height isn't quite the same as possibly yours, or uh, if you've got children doing this. So work on around sort of four and a half feet to five feet from the floor up. Take a measurement of the circumference of the tree. And in this case, it's running at around 77 inches. So the circumference of our oak here is 77 inches. So I'm gonna write that down on the whiteboard. The circumference is 77. The next step is to take that circumference and from it work out the diameter of the tree. And the way we do that is by taking that 77 and dividing it by pi. Pi is 3.14. Now, my mental arithmetic isn't great, it never has been. So I'm gonna cheat and use my calculator here. So we've got 77 inches divided by pi which is 3.14 and that gives us 24 so we've got a diameter on this oak tree of 24 inches so is the diameter i'll put a little d there so we can remember that's the diameter now the next step is we have to take that diameter measurement, in this case it's 24 inches, and we have to multiply it by what, by what we know as, or what we call, the growth factor of the tree. Now, all trees, all species of trees, have their own growth factor allocated to them. Um, the higher the growth factor, the slower growing the tree, or the species of tree tends to be. The lower the number, um, the uh, faster growing it tends to be. Now, in this case, we've got an oak, and oaks have been given a growth factor of five. So we take our uh, diameter of 24, and we times it by the uh, 
You times it by the growth factor of 5. And that is uh, 24 times 5 gives us that figure. And that is the age of our oak tree. It's approximately 122 years old. And we can tell that estimate just by doing this simple numeracy. So I'll put it down on the whiteboard here. So we had a circumference of 77. I'll put a little C there. We've got a diameter of 24. We times it by the growth factor of 5. And we ended up with a 122 year old tree. And that is a real simple way of determining the age of a tree without cutting it or harming it in any way. Now, with regard to growth factors, all species of trees have their own allocated to them and they're all available online. So it might not be an oak that you want to measure, it could be a maple or a hazel or anything. This system works for them all, but you'll just need to look up the specific growth rate for the tree that you're trying to age. Have fun with that. Mm -hmm.